the Shadow World's Cellar Spider tangles with a harvestman. Someone will disturb the peace. Meet the Cellar Spider. Its thin, pole-like limbs make it look somewhat fragile, even weak. But nothing's further from the truth. The cellar spiders are actually pretty good at killing other spiders. They don't necessarily specialize on killing other spiders, but they're really good at it when they get the chance. From their hidden vantage points, they pick off passing prey small or large, it makes no difference. And those spindly legs with their multiple sections have the clearance of a monster truck and are as nimble as high-speed knitting needles. Their legs are long and lean and effective for keeping everything at arm's length. They can immobilize rivals from a safe distance by wrapping them in silk before moving in for the kill. Their fangs are tiny, but pack mean venom. In the forest, the harvestman also has a few tricks up its very long sleeves. You'd think to look at a harvestman that it's a spider, but these guys aren't spiders at all. They don't have venom, they don't have a sting, they don't produce silk. Harvestmen are pretty much characterized by legs. Those long limbs give it critical clearance in a close fight. And its spiky exoskeleton makes it a tough foe to tackle. And when it comes to victims, the harvestman isn't fussy. Spiked feelers called pelipalps grab and hold the prey, while claw-like mouth parts rip and tear at the flesh. And when under attack, the harvestman wields its own chemical weapon. The way many harvestmen defend themselves is with stinky glandular secretions that can spray or ooze onto the predator. When these chemical combatants collide, would a delicate cellar spider versus stench on stilts? 